Oh, hi. Today we're uh, doing an unboxing of our new purchase, Rosewell Halogen Convection Oven. Uh, we found this uh, on sale, it's a really good price. Um, this one we bought it for $40, but later it was sold on uh, Newegg for 30 with a coupon code. Okay? So compared to, we use this to replace our uh, low-fat oilless fryer, the air fryer. Uh, compared to the air fryer, this is much more in, uh, inexpensive, about half the price or even less. And this can do more things. So if you look at here, it says low-fat cooking, which is what exactly the air fryers were doing, but it's, uh, it can cook a lot of things. It can be used to broil, barbecue, uh, defrost, and so it has definitely more functions than the air fryer. And also, this is a glass uh, cooking area, so you can actually see what's going on in there. It has the dial, same as air fryer, uh, but it's used as a halogen bulb to uh, to provide the heat instead of the just regular heating elements uh, such as a conventional uh, oven. So this might be a problem because a lot of people are saying the halogen bulb inside this heating element uh, may die and it cannot be replaced. Okay, so basically render this whole unit unusable after the, the bulb is dead. But the Roswell is saying that the bulb should last 6,000 hours. So we don't know why it's, a lot of people are complaining about it. So we'll, we'll see in the long run. So this one has extended range. So this, compared to the uh, oilless air fryer, normally they are in, the largest one is about three point something quarter, uh, quart, uh, something like equal to liters. But this one is 12 liters just for the glass cooking area. And if you add this stainless steel extender ring, it gives you, it's up to 18 liters. So it's much better capacity. So you can cook a whole chicken here compared to the uh, air fryer, which can probably do some chicken legs. I've done a video about legs and uh, drumsticks and uh, the chicken wings, but this can cook a whole chicken there. Okay. Uh, if we take a look at the accessory, and, and also the model number, if you want to see, R-HCO-15001. Uh, it comes with this extender ring, of course, extends the capacity, make it higher, taller. This tongue, too, because it's really hot, both on the outside and the glass and uh, I guess in, inside with this, uh, this rack, so you use this to take it out. So it's a low rack and uh, dual rack. Dual rack, you can put things on top of the rack and under it. There's a low rack, which is at the bottom, so you can put things on, on top of that. So that's pretty much it. And then all the instructions. So yeah, like I said, Rosewell is basically a very generic brand. It's a kind of a Chinese copycat of the better brands. It works just as well, but much less in price. Okay, so if you see the the the, the temperature can go up to 482, uh, whereas air fryer can go up to 400. So this is better in terms of temperature, and uh, the dials is about the same. Um, so there you go. We're gonna open it up. <coughs> so the first thing on top. Is the glass and heating heat element. So as you can see, this halogen bulb is probably inside. And this is the glass lid. Get rid of this packaging material. So top here, like I said, the same. This is the timer up to 60 minutes. Just it's a dial. We bought the dial version. I mean the touch screen version probably will be more expensive and more convenient and it has a convenient handle so you can lift it up without touching the glass, hot glass okay and this is the temperature dial you see this is a thaw or wash function but the cooking can go up to 400 up to 480 and so this is the heat indicator and the power indicator so you how the handle how to turn the handle Okay, and the lock button. And power cord doesn't seem very long. You might have to have a get a uh, extension cord. And put it aside. Take out the packaging material. Okay. So first, we'll take out the accessories. 
uh, here the tongs and the racks. This huge glass cooking pot. Okay. Fragile. So handle it with care and it's hot service. Okay. So don't don't touch it when you're cooking. It's gonna be very hot. This extender ring, it uh, looks much bigger than pictured on the box. See? It's huge. Now, last. We have this bottom. This is just, uh, just holder for the, for the glass cooking area. Very not important, but useful. back this one. This basically goes on top of this. And if you do need to kick, cook a huge chicken, put on this extender ring here. This. Okay? I probably don't need it today, but once you put it in here, see how tall it is. Whole chicken can stay inside. As I mentioned before, the air fryer and uh, similar things like that is really uh, convenient, just like a, like a microwave. So before I, I didn't cook anything, uh, but now uh, I cook uh, fried chicken and uh, french fries all the time for my kids. So it's really use useful and it's very convenient. So today we'll probably will do... Um, the reason we bought this uh, uh, convection oven is that it's much better capacity. Um, like I said, the air fryer with a three quart, three point something quart capacity to cook chicken for my family, four four people. I need to do two batches each time, fifteen minutes. So it's like thirty minutes just cook cook the chicken, then another fifteen for the fries. It takes a long time. Now you can put the chicken on the rack or on the bottom, and French fry on top. So it's actually much faster. We can probably cook one meal, one junk food meal in one batch, okay? So today we're going to try cooking something, and, and by the way, there's a cookbook, okay? That's in this user menu, it will shows you, shows you how to, to uh, use this thing, and probably have some minor uh, cooking recipes. This is basically just instruction, I think. It shows you what kind of things to cook for how long, yes. And how to clean this uh, this thing after use. Anyway, we'll put it aside for now. Okay. This tongue looks really flimsy, if you can see. It's even not lining up here. So, probably not a very good one. And basically, to take this out, it's just like this. Okay. And then you can avoid handling the hot surface. Oh, it's a bad attempt. Anyway, um, so today we're going to use the roll rack. We're going to use this rack. We're going to cook some, I guess, french fries on the bottom and we'll put some hash browns on top. We could use chicken, but the chicken is not, uh, it's still frozen, so we're going to use this to make these things. Okay? Okay. Yeah. okay, so while we're preparing the food, let me show you, uh, the, this is in the, in the manual, okay? So look at here, uh, replace this up to 10 appliances, okay? Standard oven, grill, broil, oven, deep fat fryer, uh, microwave, slow cooker, toaster oven, uh, rotisserie, electric frying pan, electric steamer. And it cooks nine ways: broil, grill, barbecue, roast, pre uh, reheat, deep fry without oil. That's the oilless fryer. Uh, bake, boil without water, steams. Okay. So all these it can be done, and it gives you the temperature instruction. Like when you defrost, it's 194 degrees, and all the way goes if you dry fry about 480 degrees. So that's all the things this one can do. Okay. And 
read the instruction about uh, prepare your oven for the first time. Basically, you need to put this oven and uh, put it to 390 degrees and heat it for 10 minutes so that to clean everything. If you feel uh, smell some odors for the first time, wipe the bowl and uh, with a clean, damp sponge, and so that, that the oven is ready to use for your cooked your first meal. But just only have to do this for one time before you do anything. Okay. All right, so we have prepared our oven for the first use. Basically, we set it for 390 degrees, 10 minutes, uh, heat the whole thing, uh, because uh, just to get rid of the smell for the first use, right, plastic smell. Um, two things I want to mention. First, this handle has to be put down before the, the oven will turn on. The light, if you see the power light, will turn, uh, turn on if it's properly connected. So you basically have to lock the handle because there's a safety button here. If you don't unlock uh, lock the handle, this will not turn on. Okay? Secondly, it's going to be really bright. The handle line is kind of bright, so avoid looking at it. Okay? So now we have ready to also act as a preheat, so we're ready to put things on it right now. So let's get our tongs. Take the top rack out first. We're going to put... So it's always better, according to the instructions, it's always better to have um, you have things put on the rack because you want the, the air, the hot air, to, to circulate below it. Okay, so we're going to do two things in one today. First, the French pot. We bought these uh, store uh, frozen fries, and this is these are coated fries. They have uh, flour on top of that, so it's much better than those uh, McDonald's fries. Um, that's very, uh, if you look at this, there's a flour on the, on the surface, so it makes them crispier and much more tastier than the regular McDonald's fries. So I'll put, I'll put these on the, on the bottom rack. Although the rack actually, actually is pretty big, so some of the fire will go through it, I guess. It's unavoidable. So you might want to buy some other kind of a racks with, with a finer mesh in the future. But for now, I think it has to be done this way. So the good thing about putting on the rack and this convection function is that according to the instruction, we don't have to stop in the middle and turn or shake this uh, spatch. That's what the instruction says anyway. Um, because with the air fryer, we normally have to do two cycles. When under, like after one cycle, we're going to turn those food over to avoid Overburn on one side and under cook on the other side. Anyway, so let's put the top rack on. So we're not doing too much today uh, because we're only testing it. But you, you got, uh, in reality, you could do probably way, way more than this. Okay, I'm going to do on the top rack a hash brown, frozen hash brown. So we're going to do two, four of them. Yeah, not too much, just to test the cap capability of this oven. Avoid touching the surface if you already preheated. It's really, really hot. Okay, so we're going to replace the lid. The lid is hot as well if you preheated, so be careful. Oh, okay. So we're going to plug it in. So with potato stuff, we're going to set temperature to be about 400 degrees, actually 450-ish, 440, let's do that. And timing is about 15 minutes, okay? So we're going to set it for 15 minutes, okay? As I said, once you put this handle lock in place, it will heat, okay? So we're going to wait for 15 minutes and we'll come back. Okay. So it's ready, 15 minutes over, and we didn't even need to turn it once in between. So we're going to remove this lid. Oh, it's really hot. Be careful. I'm going to put the lid somewhere that's uh, heat resistant. If your counter is not uh, heat resistant up to 400 degrees, don't put it on your, on your counter directly. Okay. So it's really good. Uh, we'll use the tongue to take this out. Actually, you can use uh, this kind of tongue to take it out. 
Let's take a look. Pretty good. We're gonna break it open. It's hot. Ooh. Let's see. It's cooked. Yeah, fully cooked. I tried it. Pretty good. I'm gonna take the top right fold out first. Oh. I'm gonna look at the french fries. So, removing the bottom rack could be an issue because some of the, the fries spilled onto the bottom. You can see that. So, anyway, I'm going to use this actual tongue to do it. So we'll leave this to here to cool down before we wash it because it's very hot right now. So look at the French fry. Yeah, it's uh, hot even inside, so it's fully cooked. So, in conclusion, this uh, convection oven replaces our oilless air fryer, and because it gives better capacity. Uh, cooks probably faster, more functions, and it's cheaper.